Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I have prepared my iron rich black stew, black bean stew, you guys. It's wonderful. It's so good for anemia. If you suffer with anemia, this is an excellent way to increase your iron. And you guys, it is so good. The best part about it, it's delicious. You're going to enjoy it. You'll want to eat it. And you can have this as many times. It's good for you. If you want to freeze it, you make a big batch and you can freeze it. But guess what? Even if you serve it to friends and family members, they will never know how good and how beneficial it is to them. If you want to see how I prepare this, let's get into the kitchen and let's get to it, you guys. Again, thank you for coming by. Recipe, we need the black bean sauce, which you can go ahead and look on one of my videos. I have the recipe for the black bean sauce. I have some plantains that I have already peeled. I have some carrots that I have already um, scraped and cleaned off nicely. I have some frozen spinach. I have some watercress and I have some green beans. Okay, so to begin, I have my pot here. I'm just going to pour my, um, my black bean sauce right into the pot. Now it's in the pot, we're gonna add our veggies and we're just gonna dump everything in. Those are frozen green beans, you guys. The spinach, I've washed it and um, drained it. I peeled my carrots, I said scrape, haha, <laughs> peeled my carrots and chopped them up. And there goes my plantains. You can also add potatoes to this. Um, I'll add the potatoes later. I'm gonna start cooking it. You can add the potatoes now, I just have to go and get them. And we're gonna put about a cup of water right into the mix just so that because our um, our bean sauce is already cooked so now we're just going to bring this to the bo to a boil and let that cook okay okay you guys i did add two more cups of water because i wanted to make sure that everything cooks very well so the bean sauce was pretty thick because like i said it was already cooked so we want our plantains we want to make sure our potatoes we want to make sure that everything is cooked and also we are going to be adding dumplings to this towards the end when everything is pretty much ready and cooked and so we really need to make sure that we have enough water and it's going to thicken up perfectly well now usually people would add meat to this beef to this because it is for iron um this particular dish i am not going to be adding any beef to it but you can make this plant-based like i am right now but feel free you would make your beef sauce i have a recipe for the beef sauce i believe i added okra to it um i think it's the okra and beef sauce you could do it just the same way just without the okra that is it and that is your beef sauce and you would just add it to this towards the end but this is a wonderful dish you guys super it's a soup um but it is so good for you if you are anemic and it's filled with iron because of the black beans and it is very fortifying and very rich in flavor and delicious so you guys we're going to let this come up to a boil and we'll show you what it looks like look at that it's getting there guys so i'm going to add some celery in here some chopped up celery and some green onion okay flavor that's what it's there for flavor I'm also going to add a V8 into this, a small can. Ugh. I shook it already. A boost of flavor and nutrients. This is the 1.56. Okay. Vegetable juice. My potatoes are also in there, guys. Okay, so we don't have to wait until the potatoes are completely cooked, but we're going to drop in our dumplings. I could put the recipe for the dumplings, and I'm not going to be rolling them as we usually do. These are a softer dumpling that I'm going to add in here, and I'm just going to keep on doing this. And this is gonna thicken up our um, bouillon. All right, so I'm gonna, I have some fresh spinach here, okay? I'm gonna add that in, I have a scotch bonnet I'm gonna throw in, and I've just washed and chopped up my fresh spinach. I like to use the fresh spinach at the end when we're about to get that right in there and stir it in with everybody else in a pot. And I'm gonna let that simmer. This is so good for you guys, trust me. This is my recipe. All right guys, this is it. 
ready to plate it up. Some goodness, so good for your health. You guys, get some potatoes. We'll put that right in our dish. Get some carrots and spinach. All right, you guys, so there goes my black bean stew. Bouillon pois noir. You can see the beans in there. You see the carrots, the potatoes, the string beans. I have my um, spinach in there, the dumpling right there. You know, you guys, you can add whatever you want to this. Like I said, towards the end, if you're going to add the sauce for your beef, the meat that you're going to add, feel free to drop it right in. But you know what? It's so delicious. It's so healthy for you. So many health benefits, especially with the anemia. It will bring your iron up. It's proven the black bean is so rich in iron that it really boosts. And I know a lot of people that have um, begun this journey of eating the black bean soup as well as the black bean um, stew. And they have seen results. So you guys, I wanted to share it with you because I love you guys. I hope you will try this the way that you want. You don't have to make it like this. You could just make the black bean sauce and that is perfectly fine because you'll still get the nutrients. But the added nutrients you get in the, um, the spinach and all of those other fresh vegetables that's so nourishing and so good for you. You guys, thank you for coming by. Love you for watching. Hope you've been affected. Bye.